Hi there, I'm sitting with Kylie at a farm. Kylie, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Doing great. Kylie, how does a uh, farmer prepare the soil? Well, it's a long list of what we do to prepare the soil, but we start with manure in either fall or spring, then uh, wherever there's areas of high compaction, we subsoil and chisel plow those areas, and then we go through and disc those areas to smooth it out, and then we either plant or we skip the disking and strip till, and then plant. Do you remember all that? Because I can't. I wish I could because it's awesome. I bring that up because I want to talk about the parable of the sower that Jesus gave us in the gospel. He talks about planting seeds, throwing it on the path, throwing it in thorns, other places where it's not going to produce. And then finally, Jesus plants in good soil as well. Do you guys ever just throw the seed away, throw it in the road, throw it in the river? No. No? Well, in the parable, the seed means Jesus' word. Jesus wants to spread his word. He wants that word to come into our souls. And some people's hearts aren't open to that word. And that's what he's talking about when the word falls in places that are not fertile. So like when the word falls on a path, Jesus says, it grows, the plant grows quickly but then withers and dies. And that's like when someone hears the word of God and God allows Satan to come and take that away. God allows Satan to work in the world. Satan is only allowed to do what God allows him to do because God created Satan and Satan has no power over God and God allows Satan to work in the world for actually, it's in the end, it's for our salvation. God wants us closer to him. So when the word falls upon in the, into the thorns, it, Jesus said that the word gets choked out and it gets choked out in our own lives by worldly anxieties. Sometimes anxiety leads to fear and fear leads to not trusting God and we take the weight of the world on our shoulders and that's a pretty heavy load to carry and God wants us to come back to him and put that load back on him saying just turning our problems over to God, putting them into his hands and trusting that he's going to help us out. The thorns also choke out the word because of the lure of riches. Sometimes we have it really good, we lose our focus on God. Finally, Jesus said he plants the word on good soil. Think of all the work that Kylie said they do to repair the fields. Think all the work that God does preparing our hearts for that moment when we say yes to God in our own lives and say yes to Jesus' words and his salvation for our souls. Everything in our lives that God plans for us is, leads up to that point of us saying yes to him, committing ourselves to him, and trusting our lives and our families to him. And we can do that in our own prayer lives, praying every day and by attending Mass every week, hearing Jesus' word, letting it fall on good soil, fall on open hearts that are open to our Lord. So you guys have a great day. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you. I forgot to ask, how many hours do you guys work in a day? And 12 to 15, I would say, would be average every day. What about when you're planting the fields and getting them ready? Same thing or more? They usually go by getting the field done. So if they have to stay out till 10, 11, they will. Really, so that's one thing I love about visiting farms and get learning about farming. One of the things I've learned is if I think I worked hard in a day, a farmer's worked harder and I gotta quit being a wimp, right? You can't beat that. Hard work, smile on your face, tractor, country music. Peace with you, I love you, <laughs> bye.